So if you're doing a live stream and you want a free service that's going to let you stream to multiple platforms, so Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, etc., all at the same time, then you're in the right place. This video doesn't cover how to do that with Instagram, unfortunately, so I put some details down below if that's what you're looking for. But with that aside, let's dive in. We're going to be using Restream.io to achieve this, who have kindly sponsored this video. So there'll be a full disclaimer about that later in the video and also down below. So Restream.io is a platform that allows you to stream to multiple platforms simultaneously. It's really, really easy to set up. And depending on the plan that you go for, from free up through their paid plans, which we'll look into later, you can do things like add your own graphics, calls to actions, branding, see all of your chat messages coming in from all the platforms and display them. It's a really, really cool service. So we're going to have a look at the free plan mainly in this video and then have a look at what the paid plans could offer you. So let's dive in and have a look at that. So here we are. I've created a free Restream IO account at Restream.io. And this is what you see once you've done that. I'm going to add my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. So let's go on to Facebook, connect Facebook. Now, here is where you select whether you want to stream to your personal Facebook profile, which is available on the free plan, or whether you want to stream to a page or a group, which is part of the first paid plan. So we're going to do a comparison of the plans later on. For now, I'm going to go for the personal profile so that we can stick using the free plan. Now I'm going to add another channel and connect my YouTube channel. Great. So now I've connected the platforms that I want to use. Now what we need to do is set up what the stream is going to look like. So you've got two options here. You can either go for live studio, which is the really easy, simple one to go for. You can use your own webcam, microphone, etc., uh, or you can just use what's built into your computer. That's the one that I'll be showing you. Um, but if you are a more advanced live streamer and you want to use something like OBS, Zoom, or XSplit, then you can go for this one. But we're going to go for Enter Live Studio because that's the easiest and quickest to set up and still gives you a really professional stream. So there we go, you can see straight away that's picking up video from my webcam, which I have just here. And that already looks really good. I've got some basic lighting up here, which is making this look really quite professional. In this settings cog, you can choose which webcam if you've got multiple connected. So I'm going to stick with this one. You can choose the definition. We're going to leave that as it is. And it's also picked up that I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett, which is essentially what my microphone is plugged into. If you had a USB microphone, you'd want to select that. If you're using your built-in microphone, that'll be automatically selected. There are some more advanced settings if you need them, but you're probably unlikely to need them. Now let's go and have a look through these tabs up here and see what you can do. So title is going to be the title of the live stream that Restream sends to your platforms, to Facebook, to YouTube, whatever. So let's call this Restream is awesome. In the description, check it out. Whatever you want to, to put in there and then you hit update, that's going to push that to your platforms. You can also select which destinations you're going to. So if you just wanted to go to YouTube with this live stream, then we could deselect Facebook there. But there we go, we can, we can add those back in really, really easily. These little eyes, you can hover over to get a little bit of an idea if you forget what something does, which is really handy. Let's go into the next tab, which is graphics. This is where you can have things like overlays, videos, backgrounds, you can put your name. So I've selected my name and said shown participant name, which is quite cool, just down in the corner there. I've also selected my primary color to be red. Um, as opposed to the standard restream color, which is a nice little bit of control over your branding. Uh, the next tab that you can come to is captions. And you can see here that I've added a couple of captions just by typing in the primary text, secondary text. So I've got subscribe to my YouTube channel, the audio journey. And if you were doing a Q and A, you could have something like I've got here, which is ask me anything, drop a comment below to just to get that engagement, which is, which is really, really cool. 
final tab that we have here is the chat. So while you're streaming, once you've hit go live, just up here, you're going to see messages come in from Facebook, YouTube, you know, whatever platform you're on. And once those comments come in, you can click display on screen. I'm not exactly sure how it's worded, but you can show that question. So if, it, if someone says, uh, which is better, Ableton or Logic, I can have that question up on the screen. And if people join the stream, they know the question that I'm answering, which is really, really cool to have. Um, also makes people feel a little bit more involved in your stream if they can see their comment up on the screen, which I think is really cool. Another thing that you can add in down here is share your screen. So I could share either my entire screen, just an application window, etc., or a Chrome tab, which is really cool. I'm not going to do that right now. And you can add in participants. And essentially, that's just going to send them a link. They click on that, and then they appear in your stream. There's, there's more content about how to do that. Um, you can find details on Restream's website about how to do that properly. But yeah, this is where you do it from, and I think it's a really, really cool feature. And quite simply, the final step is to hit go live up here, and then you're going to be live on all of the platforms that you've selected in this setup window. I can tell you now this is the easiest streaming setup process that I've ever gone through. It can get really fiddly with getting your audio in, your video, getting to the right platforms, etc. But this is super simple. We've just done that in five minutes or so, and we're ready to go. And that means that you can focus on what's important, which is the content, as opposed to fiddling around with the tech, which may or may not work. So is the free plan going to do the job for you, or do you need to look at the standard or professional plan. Let's take a look at each of them. First things first, let's look at the benefits of the free plan. Number one, it's free. Obviously, that's a very big benefit. Uh, the next benefit is going to be that you can stream to over 30 different platforms at one time, which is really, really cool. That's limited to one account per platform, which I'll go into in a little bit more depth later on. You also get unlimited stream time, which is really cool. You're not going to be cut off like you get in Zoom meetings or something like that. If you are a more advanced streamer, then you can set up something like OBS or XSplit so you can have a little bit more control over your stream. But if you are more entry level, then you don't need to do that. You can just do the setup process that I just showed you, and that's going to look really, really professional as well. You have access to the chat messages feature, which I think is a really, really cool thing to help engage with your audience. And the final thing is that you can have six participants in your stream. So now let's look at the limitations of the free plan. The main one for me is the fact that you're unable to live stream to a Facebook page or group. So me, for example, I wouldn't want to live stream uh, about Ableton to my personal Facebook page. I'd rather live stream to the Audio Journey Facebook page. And that is something that you're not able to do on the free plan, unfortunately, but it is available on the next plan up, which we'll cover in just a moment. The next thing is that you're not able to record the stream, which could be a bit of an issue if you wanted to upload it later on. But some of the platforms like Facebook, etc., will record the stream for you. Um, I'm not sure about the quality of it or how easy that is to do, but that's definitely something that you could look into. And finally, you're not going to get custom graphics on the free plan. I don't think that's a massive issue because you can still add in um, the sort of call to action things that I showed you that I typed out in the setup. Uh, you can do what you need to do. I don't think, unless you've got really advanced graphic needs and it needs to be spot on, I don't think that's going to be a massive issue. You're also going to have a restream um, icon in the top corner, the watermark, which again, not really a massive issue for me. I don't think that's really going to turn people off too much unless your branding used to be absolutely spot on. So let's move on to the standard plan, which at the time of filming starts at $19 a month and you get a discount if you pay for the full annual subscription upfront. The biggest benefit here that you get is that you can live stream to Facebook pages and groups. That's the main feature I think that they hold back for the standard plan to make people go for it. And that certainly is a massive feature that a lot of people need. So if that's something that you're going to need, then the standard plan is going to be the one to go for. Another benefit is that Restream IO will record six hours of the stream for you and they'll store that for you for 15 days for you to grab when you come back and want to sort of edit that and upload it maybe somewhere else. The final benefit that I've listed here for the standard plan is that you get one additional destination. Now on the free plan, you'd be more than able to stream to a Twitch page, a YouTube channel, your Facebook personal profile. That's not a problem. You can stream to as many platforms as you want, but you can only stream to one account per platform. 
So if you've got two YouTube channels, for example, that you want to stream to, then you're going to need that additional destination that you get with the standard plan. On the free plan, you can't stream to two YouTube channels. On the standard plan, you can stream to two YouTube channels if you wanted to do that, two Twitch channels, two Facebook groups, you know, whatever you want to do. So what limitations are there with the standard plan? Well, you're still going to have a watermark, which personally doesn't really bother me that much, but if that's something that bothers you, then the next plan up is going to be the one to go for. And also you don't get much control over customizing your graphics still at this point. Uh, again, if that's something that you're really needing, then the next plan up is going to be the one for you to go for. That brings us on to the professional plan, which starts at $49 a month at the time of filming. And again, you get the discount if you pay up front for the annual subscription. The benefits you're going to get here are three additional destinations. So you could live stream to four different YouTube channels, four different Twitch pages, whatever you want to do. You're also going to get a lot more control over your branding. You can upload backgrounds, logos, bits like that. You can get rid of the Restream IO logo. You get loads of other little additional features. You're also able to do 1080p video. Uh, I mean, this video looks absolutely fine for, for most people's needs. Um, 1080p wouldn't really put me off uh, going for one of the lower plans, but if that's something that you want to be absolutely extra crispy, then yeah, the professional plan may be the one for you. So there we go. I hope that's been helpful for you. Now, I just wanted to give you a little bit more information about how this sponsorship came about. I always want to be very upfront whenever I'm talking about paid products to you on this channel. So Restream.io got in touch with me after seeing that I do live streaming on my channel and I've also made videos about live streaming uh, and asked if I wanted to check out their software and if I liked it, potentially do some videos about it. So I checked it out. And I mean, the setup process is so, so easy. I've had so many headaches trying to set other things up like OBS, et cetera, linking them to different social platforms. Uh, and this was just such a breath of fresh air to, to set up. That's what made me say, yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to do some videos about this. They are sponsored videos, so they're paid. I also got given a professional plan for the length of time that I'm shooting these videos that I can use. I've used the free plan so that I can show you how good the free plan is in this video. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the details of how that came about. If you do have any more questions, then I am going to be doing a couple more videos, at least for restreams. So let me know what you want answering. Let me know what you want me to show you how to set up, whether you want to know more about OBS, Ecamm Live, Stream Decks, you know, whatever questions you have, fire them at me, put them in the comments, and that's going to inform the content that I make going forwards about Restream.io, because I think this is such a cool platform to be using. So again, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.